Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're still with me today. So today I've got an interesting wee project. Um, essentially, I've moved my chicken coop uh, down the bottom of the garden. It, it used to be right there in front of my workshop, but uh, I've, I've relocated it right down the bottom. And the run, the door, is right up the top. So I'm going to make a new door for the chicken coop. Basically, it's going to be a, a slide in the vertical door, so it's going to go up. But I'm going to make a wee mechanism with a crank uh, attached to rope so that we can just crank it and the obviously the, the door will just come up. Um, so I need to make that wee mechanism, the wee crank with a lever, with a spring. Um, and then also make the door itself, cut the grooves. Uh, so interesting wee project. Should it take long? Should be a short video like that. So, nothing else to say, but let's get take guys. So I basically just quickly drew it up something. Um, we've got a cog here, and then we've got an inner circle bit away the rope going around it, going to the door. And um, we've got a lever here, and then we've got a wee tension spring there. So we need to make, we need to cut a circle out, and then cut all, all the wee teeth in it. Uh, make a wee lever, make two wee levers, one for this bit and then a wee handle and then we need to make two wee bits for the handles um, because obviously as you tighten uh, uh, as you turn that um, it's going to lift it up this wee bit here, the lever with the spring pushing against it will we'll, we'll keep that in place and then when you want to let it go, um, you just pull this back and it'll fall down. Um, so we need to make these parts which...
this spring here and it's definitely solid steel, high speed steel uh, maybe a tension spring so I'm going to try and modify this <laughs> So I made the spring and I've just put this in with a nail in the new, try to find the right position for it. And that seems to work the new the position I've got it in. Look. Um, that's all I need. We'll move on to the door. So put that side in there. And thing to do now is to go and put it on so let's get to that
guys, um, I've just installed it there. Um, there's a, a few wee tweaks that I'll probably need to do like that for safety. Um, but all in that, it works really good like that. So I'm gonna show you now. So go to the wee door, the wee door attached there, and it it doesn't go up as much as I had thought about. So I'll need to sort that. But the wee mechanism works perfect, look. Works perfect. Okay, get it with one hand. Let's put it down. My puppy's coming out. Just coming through this bit, I need to somehow sort that, make that better. Look. As we are so, that's what it's meant to do. than I thought but um, but I definitely refinement stronger rope stronger rope and now I need to cut away a bit of this away so there's a straight shot down to the wee eye hoop the wee the wee eye hang there um, but mm, definitely a bit of refinement needed as to getting the the rope for the mechanism to the door look. but the concept and idea works it's cool so I didn't think my big one could get in but the big hen but she can get in the bother look. these two are looking like what's this and he, the rooster he's like sweet what's going on that's it so so guys i hope you enjoyed watching that that was a cool wee project uh, i always like making wee mechanisms and going through the trial and error process uh, you know experiment stages see what works and that like, so the wee mechanism like that i do really like messing about and tinkering and making things like that and like, um, definitely it can be made better no doubt about that um, i need a stronger rope um, i need to cut away a bit of the wood um, just so I've got a straight shot down with the rope um, The door itself uh, I, I probably could have made that two inches like shorter um, And it would open that bit more so I might do that in the future But definitely I'll need to get some, a stronger rope because it's, it's really tight With that weight on it like that but I need that weight on it um, For safety like that so you don't get any creatures of the night coming and try to steal my chickens <laughs> you know so anyway guys cheers for watching i hope you've enjoyed that process i hope you've inspired and encouraged to you know build something yourself like that so again cheers guys i really appreciate everybody who watches my videos like that because without the audience the channels nothing like that so um thank you guys and i'll see you in the next project all right and don't forget to build something. See you later guys.